Hello people, my name is Mohit and uh, today I'll teach you in Dreamweaver CS5 how to refresh your web page maybe to a different website or maybe you need to refresh the same page or probably to a different page on the same website. Let's get started and see how this can be done. So I'm gonna hit create new HTML thereafter I'll click on insert go down to HTML okay and look uh, for an entry which says head tags once I look at head tags I will look for something which says refresh I click on refresh and then I put the number of seconds delay that I want before the website should refresh uh, I'll, I'll make it real short uh, I'll put five seconds here and uh, after five seconds I would want that uh, the web page should be redirected to my website and my website is http colon forward slash forward slash adobe cs5 dot in in for India that's where I'm located I'm located in Mumbai and uh, for a change it's a very pleasant morning today you probably can hear the birds chirping outside and it's such a respite from uh, the you know the scorching heat uh, that I'm facing daily here uh, at Mumbai so uh, what I've done is I would want that uh, this web page should refresh to my website HTTP Adobe CS5 dot in after a delay of five seconds you can also make the same uh, page refresh not to any other website but to itself just the page refreshing and that's a very good function if you have some kind of a news feed going on okay maybe uh, cricket scores uh, refreshing time and again or uh, you could probably hit the browse button here and uh, take uh, the web page to a different web page on the same website so there there are three options here okay so I'm gonna hit the the OK button and uh, let me put some uh, text here in the design view this will make the page refresh after five seconds to my website which is http colon sorry forward slash forward slash adobe cs5 dot n okay and uh, guys uh, you see this was the code that got inserted in the header tag the metadata got inserted in the header tag this is the opening head tag this is the closing head tag and this got inserted this wasn't there prior to me uh, you know putting that code through the uh, head tags uh, URL refresh and there in the property inspector if I want to uh, make certain changes now I can still do it here you know the moment I select this code here in the header tag uh, the options to uh, make certain changes appear in the properties inspector down below okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this code and uh, I'm gonna put it in the design view so that you can see it easily this is metadata see guys meta http equivalent is equal to refresh content 5 url so and so okay there is yet another way of doing the same thing and uh, there are probably two three ways of uh, doing the same thing in dreamweaver let's explore the other option the other option is you need to go to windows and go to insert okay the moment you do that on the left hand side insert panel appears thereafter uh, go down to the entry that says head keywords there is a down arrow there you need to just hit the down arrow and uh, check uh, or explore the option refresh click on that 
and you can do the same thing out there as well okay I'm gonna cancel it because I've already done it and uh, if, if I'm not wrong there's yet another way of doing the same thing you can go to insert you can go to tag and in the HTML tags you can locate uh, the same meta tag I'm not sure where it is ah there meta and uh, see guys this is yet another place from where I can uh, enter the same code too okay guys so uh, I'm gonna close it up now and I'm gonna do a test here I'm gonna preview in Firefox does my web page actually refresh to Adobe CS5 dot in let's save the changes yes and I'll give it a title refresh R E F R E S H save it so one two three four five and uh, looks good to me it's redirected to my website which is Adobe CS5 dot in this is the introduction page uh, there's something very cool out here there's something very useful out here in my uh, on, on the introduction page out here you see guys there's uh, uh, files that can be downloaded and um, you can actually make a, a, a sound or a video gallery you can make a photo gallery okay you can just hit this button and you can download the files which can be easily edited you have a help file too to help you out it's a cool gallery try that out too So guys, I hope you learned something good and uh, you will uh, implement this on your website someday. I'll see you next time with yet another tutorial on Adobe CS5. Maybe it's Dreamweaver, probably it's Flash or ActionScript or maybe even Fireworks CS5. I'll see you next time. Ciao.